In this video, we'll be going over an isometric process, also known as an isochord process. This is a thermodynamic process where the volume remains constant. Temperature, pressure, and internal energy change, while because there is no movement, no work is done. In this example, heat is added to air in a piston chamber, which causes internal energy to increase, which causes an increase in the temperature and pressure in the piston chamber. On the top right, we have a graph of the isometric process. On the y-axis, we plot the pressure in the piston chamber. On the x-axis, we plot the volume in the piston chamber. I have two isotherms listed on this graph to represent a change in temperature. This graph also consists of a green line, which we will be referring to as the isomet. This isomet symbolizes all changes in pressure and temperature in the isometric process. Notice that the green isomet has no change in volume throughout the process. The volume remains constant. I have a diagram of two pistons below the graph that represent the volume at two stages in the process. Notice that the volume in the piston chamber does not change, so there is no movement of the piston, so no work is done on the piston. The ideal gas law for this isometric process, if we separate the variables and constants, is pressure over temperature, which are the variables that change, equals the mass times the gas constant divided by the volume in the piston chamber, which are all of the constants. Notice in this equation, to keep the right side of the equation constant, on the left side, if pressure increases, then temperature must also increase. And if pressure decreases, then temperature must also decrease. Temperature and pressure are directly proportional. Now let's do an example problem to find the total heat added or the total internal energy change of the system. The total heat added or removed in the system is equal to the work plus the internal energy change. Being work equals zero due to no movement, the total heat added equals the total internal energy change. Recall from previous videos that the total energy required to increase or decrease a substance temperature is equal to the specific heat of the substance, in this case the specific heat for a constant air volume process, multiplied times the mass of the substance, multiplied times the change in temperature. The constant volume specific heat of air in this case is 718 joules a kilogram degree Kelvin. This means that for every kilogram of air you raise 1 degree Kelvin, it requires 718 joules of energy. The mass of air is 2 kilograms and the temperature delta or change in temperature is 373 degrees Kelvin for temperature 2 minus 273 degrees Kelvin for temperature 1, so a total temperature change of 100 degrees Kelvin. Plugging in our numbers into the calculator, we get a total heat added or internal energy change of 143,600 joules. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Thank you for watching.